plenty of spring in the Stamford Highlanders training this week after recording the biggest win in their history, a 52-0 demolition of the Sunwolves. But it's a tougher task ahead of them this Saturday night when they host the Chiefs at Forsyth Bar Stadium. Um, and it's always a physical battle against them. So in these Kiwi derbies, it can sometimes be a coin toss. So we just want to um, prepare the best we can now we're back here and get ready to um, go out and... Uh, in front of our home fans. The win in Tokyo followed hot on the heels of victory over the Blues. The back-to-back -back wins breathing some much-needed life back into the Highlanders' season, while the Chiefs are coming off a hiding from the Hurricanes and sit bottom of the New Zealand Conference. I think we're uh, both teams are very much the same, just because we've won two in a row, as it doesn't change both teams really. They're, you know, they're, they're desperate, we're desperate, and we, we, you know, if you've had a look at the table, she's, yeah. she's very, very close. So I think it's, it's going to be two desperate teams out there on, um, on Saturday night. The visitors will also be looking to square the ledger with the Highlanders prevailing back in round one. Mm, they're always hard to play. Uh, we only just beat them last time, and, but when they come down here, um, yeah, they're, they're a real physical side. Um, the mentality is to try and beat us up around the ruck and and bully us there, so um, it's going to be a tough battle. But it's up front where the Highlanders have been their most impressive this season, with the tight five dominating most opposition. Not that they're getting big-headed about it. Nah, we always bring them back down to earth, but nah, they're obviously going good, and uh, we're getting some good quality set-piece, which is definitely helping us to launch, but again, um, it'll be a lot tougher to get that sort of quality against New Zealand sides. And with the winning margin last time just three points, that's hard to argue with. In Dunedin, the South today.